Hey everybody, welcome back. If you want to take your flight sim skills to the next level without spending a penny, I can help you with that. If you're just getting into Microsoft Flight Simulator or you've been flying sims for a while and you're just trying to get more like a real pilot, there is a gold mine of free flight training resources available online. In this video, I'll show you the best free resources for learning real world aviation concepts that you can apply directly in Microsoft Flight Simulator from takeoffs and landings to radio comms and instrument approaches. If you're serious about simming or just want to fly a little bit more realistically, these tools can make a huge difference. So let's get started. A lot of this information comes from the FAA in the United States. The FAA produces a ton of handbooks and manuals for flight training of all levels, from basic introductory concepts all the way up through instructor, and advanced ratings. All this information is free from the FAA. The FAA does not publish and sell these books. Other companies do. So you can go on Amazon or you can go to your local bookstore and order these books online and buy them. And they're generally not that expensive, but the FAA publishes them all for free on their website. The first one I want to take a look at is the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. Now, you can download the entire thing as a PDF. And if you want to, you can send this PDF to your Kindle or your iPad and read it that way. The Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge is a base of aviation knowledge starting from the introduction to flying, principles of flight, aerodynamics, flight controls, aircraft systems, all of the basic things that you're going to learn in flight training. If you are actually going for your private pilot certificate, I would strongly advise you to read this entire book front to back. But as flight sim enthusiasts, we can get a tremendous amount of information out of this. If you're interested in things like aerodynamics, for example, there is an entire chapter on the subject. And it gives you an understanding, starts to give you an understanding of how airplanes work and what's happening when you're flying. You can see here concepts like relative wind, lift, weight, thrust, and drag. These are all the, the very basic points of knowledge that you should have as a pilot. Other topics of interest, aircraft performance, things like density altitude, which you might not know anything about, affects the way your aircraft performs depending on the atmospheric conditions. There's an excellent explanation of that, of calculating landing distances, how various atmospheric conditions affect takeoff, landing, and cruise performance, all in this chapter. The next book I would recommend is the Airplane Flying Handbook. This is a little bit more advanced, actually quite a bit more advanced, but it has one of the most important concepts that I think you really should know about as a sim pilot, which is this chapter here, energy management. Landings in particular are all about managing the energy that you have available to you. Doesn't matter whether you're flying the 152, doesn't matter whether you're flying a glider, really matters whether you're flying a glider as a matter of fact, or a 777 or the A350. Energy management is one of the most important concepts in aviation. It's only been the last 10 to 15 years that people have really started to understand that a lot of the things that we talk about in flying are kind of tangential to the main point, which is energy management. So we talk a lot about other things like pitch versus power, that sort of thing. What we really want to think about is energy management, and this will transform the way you fly all phases of flight. This is a really good example of some of the amazing information in here. And one of the things that you can really use to understand better what's happening when you're trying to land an airplane. This graphic on the right hand side is something I actually copied and pasted into a image and I have saved it to the desktop of my computer because it's that important in my opinion to try and understand what my plane is doing what I want it to do, and how I correct any sort of deviation from what I'm trying to accomplish. The Airplane Flying Handbook also covers things like takeoffs and departures, airport traffic patterns, approaches and landings, and then towards the bottom you can see chapters 12 through 16, 
if you're interested in flying, let's say the, the Bonanza or the Baron tailwheel aircraft or the TBM series or any sort of jet aircraft from the Citation all the way up through the A350, the 777, this is all information for those specific types of airplanes and if you read through those chapters you're going to learn a lot about the basic concepts that apply to all planes in those categories if we look at the chapter on transitioning to jet aircraft it goes through the basics of things like how a jet engine works but also v speeds and also things like basic takeoff maneuvers and how you approach that in any sort of jet aircraft right on through to landing jets everything you want to know about flying jets as a general concept is in this chapter. And then three final things I'll show you from the FAA. Number one is the Instrument Flying Handbook, which is only available as a PDF, but it is the nuts and bolts of instrument flying. It goes through everything from the airspace system to air traffic control, to all the flight instruments. And that is really, really interesting stuff. Even if you're only interested in VFR flying to understand the pedostatic system, the pedostatic instruments, and also then the actual act or the art of flying instruments, how to fly instruments using analog and digital instrumentation. Every topic you can think of in instrument flying is discussed in this book in detail. The instrument procedures handbook is more of a hands-on how to use the system itself. So it's designed for people who are already instrument pilots to understand the concepts involved in instrument flight. Much more advanced and focused actually on professional aviators, but a lot of good information in here if you like to read. And then there's the pilot controller glossary. Let's say for example, you are on VATSIM or you wanna get on VATSIM. This is where you learn all of the terms that you need to use in aviation communication. It's very in-depth. The basic terms that you wanna know and understand are in bold italic, so radar contact. So let's say you're flying on VATSIM. You enter an airspace that is being controlled by live ATC on VATSIM. They may ask you to ident, you do the ident, and then they're gonna tell you radar contact. What does that mean? Of course it means, yeah, I can see you on radar. But what it means is described exactly here. Used by ATC to inform an aircraft that it is identified using an approved ATC surveillance source, etc., etc. We come here to C. You can see cleared approach. That's an ATC authorization to execute any approach that you want to to that specific airport. Cleared for a specific type of approach. For example, cleared ILS runway 33 at Griffiths, for example cleared as filed you'll get that when you're when you're picking up your ifr clearance that means you're cleared to proceed in accordance with the route of flight filed in your flight plan in other words what you have filed and important things for example like this this clearance does not include the altitude departure procedure or the transition so all this stuff that you want to know to be able to fly on vatsim you can get all this information here in the pilot controller glossary and lastly, some online resources. This first one is absolutely unbelievable. This is from Embry-Riddle, which is the premier aviation university in the world. And they have put together this free course on learning how to fly. You have to sign up for it, but it doesn't cost anything. They don't even make you confirm your email before they give you access. You simply sign up with your email. You get access to this course. Let's click here and I'll show you what's in here. It's truly tremendous. So you can see aircraft systems, flight controls, fuel, hydraulic systems, electrical systems, that sort of stuff. Aerodynamics, we talked about a little bit earlier, the four forces of flight, lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Flight instruments, pedostatic, gyroscopic, magnetic compass, G1000. Come down here to airports, traffic patterns, airport markings and signage, lighting, really important stuff. Uh, stuff like airspace, different airspaces, radio communications. It's really unbelievable that they put all this together for free. Another one that I would recommend is the UND Aerocast. This is from the University of North Dakota, which is also a very respected aviation school. So I would come here and click on popular. This is more of their training stuff, like crosswind approaches, 
which I've watched. It's a really useful video. I've talked to you guys about this one on centerline. Be on centerline. There's stuff like commercial chandelles and ace on pylons. That's more more you know specific flight training stuff. But holding patterns, non precision approaches. This is another holding pattern video. So you can learn about concepts that you need to understand in order to be able to fly tremendous information all presented really really well there's another one called bold method which i like i watch a lot it's more can it's more scenario based but there are some things that are good like activating approaches instrument procedures this sort of thing but it's it's more conceptual and kind of specific scenarios not general aviation training but also really really good stuff those are some of the really good free resources that we have available to us to learn more about aviation the faa stuff again you can take the pdfs put them on your kindle or your ipad and read them there tremendous information a lot of it is very very in-depth and used by real pilots for training recurrent training learning new concepts etc but if you're really interested in becoming a better sim pilot, this is some great stuff to use and it's all free. If you have any questions, any comments, any feedback, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Hope everybody's having a great day and we'll talk soon.